Some Kapahulu residents say something is missing after a repaving project on Date Street. The crosswalks. We sent Sarah Madison to check it out. Sarah? Joe, the city says about 13,000 vehicles use Date Street every day. So the safest place for pedestrians to cross is at an intersection with signal lights like the one behind me. Those crosswalks without signal lights or uncontrolled marked crosswalks were taken out. Clinton Bovey lives on Date Street and crosses the street to catch the bus. He thought Cruz forgot to restripe the crosswalk after repaving the road. But when we told him the city removed it, he said that makes it more dangerous. This whole street is filled with cars in the evening, all the way down. And every one of those people have to cross here. Bovey says he can't get to the nearest signalized crosswalk because he's in a motorized wheelchair. I can't go nowhere. There's no sidewalks. If they want to take my only crossing to the street away, then they should put in sidewalks to where I could get to another crosswalk. The city says pedestrians can still legally cross Date Street where the crosswalk markings have been removed. But you need to yield to traffic. When people see the white lines, they, their eyes automatically behind the wheel say, okay, that's a crosswalk. Mm -hmm. No more lines there. The drivers don't notice it's not a crosswalk or it's a crosswalk. So when people walk out the street, they'll hit them because they think it's all just jaywalking. Now, the Kapahulu community has its monthly neighborhood board meeting tonight at 6.30. The board chair tells me that this issue is on the agenda, and he expects a lot of people will have something to say about it. It's unknown if the neighborhood board will take any action at this time. Reporting live from Date Street, Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News.